cold in Atlanta, bro. <laughs> I wasn't ready. <clears throat> Good morning, good morning. Let me just uh, share to a few more groups. Pulling a few people, you know, for this convo. Today we're gonna to be talking about elements, how they express themselves and their connection to you. Specifically the big ass earthquake I experienced last night. Even though I didn't really experience it because I was sleeping, but you know, I was there. I was there, I was there, blood. I was there. So, uh. Okay, so today's video, as I'm driving home from getting my weed, <laughs> is uh, going to be speaking on um, the elements and how they express themselves and how they connect to um, either the sun or the moon. It's a pretty simple but deep thing. So uh, last night, I haven't even been here for a week, maybe about four days. I've experienced an earthquake. Um, I find out that earthquakes aren't too common in Georgia. It's interesting. So, uh, we're gonna be speaking on an earthquake. Well, I would hope that you would easily understand which element that connects to. So, uh, the expression of uh, an earthquake will connect to the element of earth. That's like a given. Uh, the expression of uh, um, hurricanes would be the expression of the ocean. Tornadoes would be the expression of the element of, uh, so water. Um, tornadoes would be the expression of air. And then fire. What would be the expression of fire? It's pretty interesting. It's really electricity. That would be one form of expression of fire. But on a, a more simplistic level would be these forest fires that we've been experiencing. So uh, we have forest fires, which would be uh, the expression of, or, or which would be the element of fire expressing itself. We have hurricanes, uh, which would be the element of water expressing itself. We have earthquakes, which would be the element of earth expressing itself. And we have uh, tornadoes, which would be air expressing itself. But this has to come through a polarity. Which pol polarities? Yeah, volcanoes, you know, mountains, you're getting it, you know. It's uh, the infusion. What is a volcano? The infusion of earth and, uh, earth and um, uh, fire. What would be like a tsunami? Uh, that would be like the infusion of like earth and water, you know. So you get infusions, you know, things come together and express themselves. That's kind of what you are. You know, you are the uh, infusion of some things, you know. You had to put two things together to get you. you know? So you're like two things in one. <clears throat> so uh, it's like uh, you're either going to come in my world or I'm going to come in yours. Or we're going to kind of like create a world together. Hi, created world. You are the created world that was made together. Hi, how you doing? How you doing? So uh, keep moving. If we're going to talk about uh, tornadoes or fire. I want you to understand that this will connect to the element of the sun. Like I said in previous videos, the sun pulls, the moon pushes. So, uh, it's a pretty deep thing. So, uh, tornadoes, it's usually pulling on stuff. Pulling trees from off the ground, pulling houses from where they originally are. You know, it represents a pull. So that would be sun. The sun expressing itself. See, it gets deeper. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. It goes deeper than the elements? Yeah, motherfucker, it goes deeper than the elements. You know, in order to get four, you got to go to two. In order to get to two, you got to go to one, which would be the black hole. But let's not lose y'all. So we're in the two right now, which would be the sun and the moon. So the sun connects to a fire, and your fire would express itself by pulling on stuff. So it pulls the nutrients out of the food you eat. Um... Tornadoes pull on you, forest fires pull from the nature or the original design that it is, and thus uh, transferring or transforming it to a different state. So it's just pull. It's all pull shit. Tornadoes, um, volcanoes. It's pulling the lava out of the earth. Y'all getting that? I hope y'all are. All right. Now we have the moon. And the moon will represent push. 
and uh, that would be like um, would be a hurricane, you know, pushing its waters to the uh, to the land. Then you have something called earthquakes, which would be a push. You know, think about it. You have like a flat plane. If I was to push down on this, this will go up. You know, push. Pull, I'm taking this bitch with me. The sweater is coming with me. Motherfucker, come on. See, there's a difference when you're being pushed. Push can kind of stay in place. Pull, you're coming with me. So this has to, once again, dominance, submission. You guys are going to get these lessons, whether y'all hear it or not. Y'all going to get this. So when you pull on something, you're dominating it. Bitch, you're going to do what I say, Tina Turner. I'm going to pull this song out of you. I'm going to pull this goddess out of you. Now allow you to uh, push this goddess out of you. I'm going to pull it out of you. Which then I guess is pushing you. So I guess it is. I guess it is a system of push and pull. I'm going to pull this motherfucking Tina out of you. And then you go push yourself to be better. Because bitch, you can't be anime. You can't be an animation. Get it? Anime? Tune, you can't be a tune. You can't be a loony tune. I gotta pull you in your direction. I gotta be your ruler. I gotta be the father. I gotta be the masculine that sits here and dominates you any and every fucking chance I get. But that's not working for her. Because Chinese prophecy says when mountains move, the divine feminine will rise. It's called an earthquake because earthquakes connect to the moon. Has to do with push. I'd rather be pushed and pulled. But this, like I said, comes to my personal perception and view on this life. <clears throat> so uh, why did we have an earthquake at 4.4? Well, it wasn't at 4.4. Uh, it was actually at 4.15. But uh, it was a 4.4, which connects to 8, an Orion number. Why are the Orions intervening in uh, an area that I'm living in right now? It's interesting because it originated in Tennessee. I get news about four days ago that a, a, a family member, not a family member, a friend of the family is on like life support in Tennessee. So it's a deep thing, you know. Someone's dying. Oh, no, I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, someone's dying in Tennessee. You know, so something's pushing out of life in Tennessee. It's interesting. Anyway, I'm not going to go to my own personal things. I'm going to keep this uh, as uh, generic as possible. You want to know something interesting? I'll tell you something interesting. So last night I woke up at 3.03. The earthquake hit at 4.15. I was asleep at 4.12. Cause I remember I was sleeping at 412 because uh, I was up reading about myself. So uh, we'll give you a little uh, introduction. So listen, so, so for those who uh, got the lesson, the lesson's done. I'm not talking about this no more. I'm now bringing in um, uh, my own personal experiences into uh, this connection. So if you're here just to listen to the uh, information and not hear my own personal things, you can leave now. But now I'm going into personal. Uh, so those that are watching this clip that want to tune out in the future, this is it. I ain't mad at y'all. Thank you for listening. So anyway, moving forward, a um, few years back, 20, uh, the end of 2014, I moved to New Orleans. And uh, around 2012, I started getting into um, studying witchcraft. Now, the reason why I started studying witchcraft is because I took a drug in 2012 called Salvia. Salvia Devonarum. Uh, the divine uh, sativa That's kind of what it, it, it breaks down to us, 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 Or saliva That's really, really what it is Mucus um, I don't think you guys understand that plants give you mucus uh, But you have good mucus and bad mucus That resides within the body uh, Certain mucus has information Mucus membranes uh, These membranes are memories So this is, remember I don't go to school for this shit This is practical, I'm just aware, I know things so anyway, when you smoke these things, it's like when you smoke and you get all this fucking extra inflammation inside your body. This is downloads of information. So when I took this plant, it took me to another space and time. I specifically saw a form of myself. Uh, this self is called um, uh, uh, Fainus, Franus, Fainus, Fainus, I don't know, P, uh, F, F A N U S, Fainus, Fanus, Fanus, or Panus. I don't like to use the word F, I use the word P, so it's Pan, it's like pianoist, uh, because it is uh, it is that being that gave you the duat. Pan is considered half human, half goat, meaning he's half dark, half light, just like the piano keys. He is a pianoist, or the pans, or the planes of music that you're sitting on or playing on right now as we speak. But let me just go deeper. 
So, uh, 2012, I took Salvia. I was in a whole nother fucking world in like seven minutes. Uh, I was in front of a big ass tree. This tree was the tree of life, not the tree of knowledge. The tree of life, and I know it's tree of life because it produced a life in back of it. This is why I said tree of life. And not only was it the tree of life, from my own perception of me seeing this deity named Pan coming behind the tree, when I saw what was in front of the tree, I saw mermaids, I saw dragons, I saw nymphs, I saw fairies. I saw that world. And I saw it very, I, very realistically. It looked like Nintendo 64. I don't even know how to explain it. It was like pixelated, but it wasn't. Um, so when I saw that, you know, I heard these hoofs walking in back of this fucking tree. So I, I turn around and it's this, de this pan deity. You know, I don't give a... So you have to understand, fear is a very real thing. And if you hold fear in life, you go hold fear in death. Meaning that when you dream, you go to fear. Meaning that when you die, you go to fear. Y'all go to be some fear-oriented motherfuckers. And it's unfortunate because then fear will rule you. So... Phone's hating on me. Just stay with me. Hold on. You know, phone's overheating and shit. Back at it. Okay, so uh, remember, a pan gets fried. You fry things on a pan. It's a deep thing. It means that you transform things from one state to another on a pan. Are y'all getting that? Do you understand pan represents transformation? Because pan is not only just pan, it's plane. It's the plane of existence that you're transforming as we speak. I tried to explain this to someone earlier. I'm, I'm going on tangents, but do you guys understand you're in a plane right now? You're in a plane, a plane of existence. Just like your ass got to get in a plane to get from one destination to another. That's a fucking body. Y'all are going in a body to get from one destination to another. That is a fucking consciousness. That is a being. You are in a being. And this being has depths, levels, dimensions. You specifically are in the sacral chakra of a being. You're in a child. You're in the emotional state of a child. And you're residing within the sacral chakra of a cosmic... Hey, you know what I mean? It's hate. It's a lot of hate. It's a lot. It's a lot of hate this morning. So anyway, um, 2012. I seen Pan. Pan. He's 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 hoofing like the fucking hooves and shit. I you know I turn around and I hear it and he's like, "What the fuck are you doing here?" He's cussing. He literally says, "What the fuck are you doing here?" So this is how I know y'all really low with the swear words and shit because it's so much deeper. They are very much like us. And, and, and swear words represent passion And passion is a representation of anger And anger gets shit done So it's a very deep thing when you swear But let's not get lost uh, Anyway, so he's like, what the fuck are you doing? Signifying his passion I knew he was passionate If he swore at me, this is real Oh God, if you're cussing at me right now I need to pay attention Because you, you really, you mean it Like you mean this shit You're not just like, oh, alright, let's go Nah, I fucking threw you off So anyway, he's pulling me Pulling my jacket don't fucking touch me. I don't give a fuck if you God, nymph. Bruh. <laughs> it's so not overheating. It's, it's fuck, it's 38 degrees. Anyway, I don't give a fuck who you are. Don't touch me. This is on, this is on everything. I don't give a fuck who you are. You don't touch me unless I allow you to. And y'all need to get in this habit. Y'all so scary as shit. Thinking that shit can just touch you or rule you. Who said? It is your fucking body. It's your rules. You define what can affect you or not. Uh -huh. God, it does. Uh, you are the motherfucking deaf furnition. That's that fern shit, though. And that also connects to furnace or Fatima, all that stuff. Keep going. So he's pulling me. I'm like, get the fuck off me. He realized that I'm clearly not going to do what he says. So he pulls out a flute. Now, at that time, I didn't know it was a flute. Um, I had to go around these witches and smoke some weed back in like 2014, 13. 2013, I was smoking with these witches, telling them my experience, and they were like, oh, you saw our God. What the fuck, who's your God? They were like, the little green man. I said, the little green man, like, Oz, motherfucker? Like, who are y'all talking about? They were like, yeah, Oz is one of them. They were like, yeah, that's the deity all Wiccans, or us Wiccans praise and honor. He is he is the God of all of this. I didn't understand what the fuck they were talking about. You know, so, um, I understood the name. They were just like, yeah, that's Pan. Okay, that's Pan. Okay, so anyway, he blows his little flute. His flute has seven tiers, seven points, which means these are your chakras. So he blew each flute. I didn't even know about chakras. So he blew my flute and I, I felt the resonance. He started at my fucking root chakra and it was like, Woom. that shit happened. I felt it and then it went all the way up. So he, he sparked my Kundalini energy. Now Kundalini energy is 
Um, it is a way for you to, to hit your crown fast as fuck. You can bypass all of your chakras if you can resonate your kundalini on a certain frequency. But like I explained in a previous videos, there are levels to this shit. And if you shoot up too quickly, you will not be able to fall back because you have no cushion. So this is a very deep thing. Why Pan gave you chakras? Why Ra gave you chakras? So if you were to fall from your, from your third eye, at least you have your throat chakra to hold you down. And then you have your heart. And then you have your solar plex. And then you have your sacred chakra. You have things to catch you. This shit is deep. But you also have to remember these are still emotions. So what is catching you? Feelings. Emotions are catching you. It is the fucking emotions or experiences you feel each level that gives you your levels. Anyway, so he blows his flute. All the chakras resonate. I end up seeing my whole life, Akashic life, which is Mercury. So you see Mercury, how Mercury is in you. So so you read your uh, your uh, Sumer, you know, your fucking, uh, your silver cord. That's what su, S-U is silver. Now, I know they don't want to say that, but I, I want you to use logic. A-U will be gold. So when you put an S, this would have to be steel, silver, that is the different chord. So this is the silver mer, su mer, the silver mercury people or the, the, the fucking gray people, you know? But they're the ones that brought in uh, uh, extraterrestrials, mesopotamia, mes whatever the fucking word is, you know? They're all the ones that are always talking about the fucking serpent people. So anyway, once um, I saw my Akashic records, I couldn't really accept the fact that I was seeing my life. So what your brain does is your brain, your mental brain is constantly forming. That is what your mental brain does. And then attaches your mental brain to an emotional experience. So I am seeing my life, mental body. But my mental body cannot perceive my mental body. So then it has to project itself into an emotional body. What was that emotional body? A fucking book. Just like your emotional body is a fucking book. It's called the Bible, the Quran, the fucking Torah, the encyclopedia, the Black Laws Dictionary. Y'all motherfucking book. Y'all emotional body. Y'all don't fucking hear me. Saturn. Y'all emotional fucking body. Anyway, moving forward, I saw my life as a book. And I had to close my book. in that shit. On to the next one. So, I guess I had a connection to Pan, you know? I saw the nigga. So, 2014. No, no, I'm lying. So, 2013. I moved to Washington, D.C. and meet this girl named, uh, <laughs> so I meet this girl, and this is how she introduces herself. She says, I'm Ashley during the day, but I am Avery at night. I should have known then, but, you know, I'm a freak, so I'm like, oh, I'll fuck with it. Okay, cool, that sounds fun. Like, huh, you could be two people, so, like, I'm fucking two people, that's what you're telling me, so I can fuck two people. You are Ashley during the day, and you are Avery at night, got you. <laughs> cool. So, you know, that's how I'm perceiving it. Not even understanding, nigga, this is real shit. She is two different motherfucking people. And the other person she is, is a very ancient being. A very old construct or energy that I was not aware of. And she still won't tell me her fucking name. It's cool, because Avery is a code. A very. Get it? A very. A very what? A fucking very interesting journey you done took me on, motherfucker. That is exactly what the fuck you did. Put me on a very interesting path. But Avery, uh, when broken down, means a uh, queen of elves. And Pan is an elf. Has little pointy ears and shit, you know. Queen of elves. So uh, Santa or Saturn, you know, that's connected. Queen or king of elves. Deep thing. So uh, <clears throat> um, she said that she saw me as, uh, as, as this being, Pan. She wouldn't tell me the name. Fran I'm going to write that shit. That is the name she she calls me, Franius. I don't even know if that's right. It's about it's about there, Franius or some shit like that. So, last night, I wake up at three o'clock in the morning. Yes, he is a uh, he is considered um, um, a deity of the woods, but he's also considered an oracle and a prophet. 
uh, because he has the ability to tap into the divine feminine while she sleeps. So there's a secret. Those that sleep with Pan or sleep by Pan have vivid dreams. So those associated with Pan can then have more vivid dreams about the future. And then those dreams are then interpreted by Pan. Google it. You know, it's a, it's a, uh, yeah, like nanny friend. Yes, indeed. Like Francis, uh, like Franz. Um, he, he is considered, um, the king of Latin to Latinus, Latinus, I think is his name. So he produced even the, the land and language of Latin. So he was considered the Latin king. <laughs> it's a deep thing. So anyway, y'all could Google it. I'm not going to talk about this dude. Y'all could see who it is, but he has a, um, it's interesting because in Greek mythology, they have uh, the Pantheon, and they said that the primordial de deity named as Ananki uh, produced a being named Fangs. Now, Ananki represents vibration, and then she produced a being called Vision. I need you to understand that vibration would represent sound, and then vision would represent light. They're showing you the transitions of elements, how elements have transitioned from sound, vibration, into light. This is the same thing for Fangs. Or pan, because really P H A N E S is how you spell it. But if you take the A L, if you take the H away, then you get P A N E S. It's the same name. So, one's a Roman construct, one's a Greek concept. It's still all connected. So, uh, Pan had a uh, a mother, and he's the third of the Saturn line. So he would be the third child of Saturn, or the third descendant of Saturn. You have Saturn. You have a, uh, another being that falls under Saturn. I don't have the name in front of me. And then you have him. So he will be the third. Um, you know, but uh, his mother represented sound. Basically, they said that her voice was so beautiful. That her voice was so powerful. That she moved mountains. I read this last night. Before this earthquake. I want you to understand that. So I read something saying that the being... The mother of this deity, of this being that I associate with, connects to sound. And not only sound, it connects to vibration. Not only vibration, her vibration is so beautiful. Not ugly, not mean, not wrong, not depressive. Beautiful. That her sound is so beautiful that it moves mountains. Did anyone get hurt in this earthquake? No, they didn't. Probably going the wrong way. Yep, going the wrong way. So what happens when you move to a new place? So uh, I'm going to go through some of y'all comments. Because I just feel like I said a lot of interesting stuff. I could just go on for days about this. But, uh, you know, all these beings kind of have to use an element to express themselves. So if I'm saying that these beings have to use an element to express themselves, uh, an element ain't nothing but a body. You know, or an element ain't nothing but um, an energy that has positioned itself inside of a body. So... For example, the, in, uh, the element of air is going to position itself inside of the body of a tornado. The element of water is going to position itself inside of the body of a hur hurricane. The element of fire is going to position itself inside of the body of a volcano. Y'all get what I'm saying? So it positions itself inside of a body. But y'all not paying attention to who or what the fuck you are. You are a body. Are you not? And are you not connected to those four elements? Is your skin not made of earth? Is your soul not made of fire? Is your blood not made of water? Is the space between all of this not made of air? I'm confused. So then, are these elements in you as well? Are you a representation of these elements? Should I ask these questions. All right. Let's go through some of these. Uh, oh, yeah, I said a lot of shit. Hold on. <clears throat> Terry Silver King. Sure. You want to come in, my dude? Let's get it. I don't, I, I don't know if I meant to do that on purpose. Okay. What's the word, brother? Peace and love. Good day, brother. Okay. I felt an earthquake yesterday morning, but didn't check the Richter scale. Um, yeah, that would be wise. You know, because like I said, these are all ways. See, um, the element of earth can't just text you or inbox you or FaceTime you. <laughs> and that's kind of like what we used to, you know putting the cube, putting Saturn in our face, any fucking chance we get. You know, so because these elements can't really do that, they have to get to your attention other ways. And y'all are like assholes. Y'all don't want to listen to people, you know, so y'all assholes. So the elements got to be assholes. It has to do extreme things to get your attention. So like, for example, this is the Orions trying to communicate to us. This is 4.4. 4. 
the number eight is an Orion number, and it's specifically an Orion number because they represent the heart and the mind for a, a square, one square, and then it goes like this on the other square. This is one more square that we're, we're still, I guess, embedding or, or decoding. Uh, but right now, 4-4 four, four represents uh, us killing off the 11-11 or the 1-1. One, one. You know, that's kind of what that is. Transitioning uh, the 4-4 four, four to a, I mean, the 1-1 one, one to a 4-4. Four, four. I'm so good in front of you, my dude, and in front of you. All right. So, uh, you know, it's uh, important to understand how the universe is communicating with you. And specifically, fuck the universe. How the elements are communicating with you. What the fuck? Is, you are the universe. It's you in verse. So don't use the goddamn word. Figure out how you are in verse. You know, and you're in verse through elements. So learn how the elements are trying to communicate with you. And then you can kind of get the message. Because each element represents a different emotion, feeling, expression. So, oh, oh, that's why the Orions talk to me through the earth sign. You know? Yeah, you feeling the vibe? You know, feeling the wave? Uh, I'm about to check the USGs. I don't even know what that means. Um, uh, alchemy. I felt uh, quakes in my solar plex yesterday morning, um, your afternoon. Because it is the divine feminine that's communicating. You don't even understand that this is you talking. This is you. This is you expressing yourself. You don't think that was... Time out. Dorothy. Was that not her tornado? Was Oz not her child? Y'all probably missing that in the movie. Y'all, that shit's flying over your head. Did she not channel this tornado? Did she not produce or create her Oz? Mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, sun gives light, ultraviolet, and IR. Um, moon absorbs the infrared from the earth. Hence, sunshade is cooler than the sunlight. Moon shade is warmer than moonlight. Yes, this is something I'm going to be teaching in my master courses. How um, your uh, how your soul is connected to your chakras, and how the white light is associated with the artificial you or the moon you. So kind of like the robotic you or the cyborgic you that uses white light. <clears throat> Stone Mountain is an asteroid that landed in Georgia. Very much so. That is a very, very true statement. Um, it is a piece of uh, Marluna, to be honest. Um, it's literally a piece of the moon <laughs> that is here in, uh, in Georgia. But how do you know that? I said that it is the moon that pulls on, I mean, that pushes on the earth. It is the moon that produced the earthquake last night. You know? So it would only make sense that it would be in connection to something related to the moon. Pseudo as fuck. I may just leave that alone. <clears throat> yeah, now you're getting it. You know, pan flute, pandemonium, pandering. I know exactly what you're talking about. I've been tapping in and out since I was we won. Info overload, uh, mal, mal, kuta. I don't know what that word. Yes, that's how I learned all of this planes. The broadcast keeps getting cut. Uh, I know. Too much truth for AI servers to handle. Nah, just, just AI doesn't want to process certain information, so it tries to restrict it or turn it off. But see, this is what you have to understand. I, AI can't turn you off. So that's the one thing that's affecting AI, you. AI can't turn you off. You can turn AI off, but AI can't turn you off. So it's a pretty deep thing, but that must be pseudo too.
you know, that statement pseudo too. People be funny as fuck. Let me just keep it moving. I ain't got time for the fucker. Pseudo, I'm, I'm talking about taking a fucking drug that took me to another world. No shit, it's fucking pseudo. I'm, we walking around with Pan right now? Where's the nigga at? You walking around with uh, the fucking, with these deities that y'all honor and worship? I just keep moving. Y'all have me fucked up. Ferns that have no seeds as they spread through spores. Yep. Are you driving? I'm always driving. Peter Pan. Peter or Pet. Um. Yeah. That has to do with like pot. You got to know. You print one four. That's eight. Yeah. Pan gave me his heart. Purple uh, crystal, and you got the astral chakras. Yay, Sumer. Can't go into the avatar state too early. If you get stuck down, game over. Um, these are all dimensions, and each dimensions have rulers. You know, so just it's a dimension. So you have something called length, and you have something called width. Okay, length, width. This is a dimension. It's how you get your dimensions. Length and width. You need a form of measurement to measure the length and the width of your dimensions. This is called a ruler. Every one of you have rulers in each one of your chakras. <clears throat> uh, they were here way before us and are actually still here. Yeah, through you. I really don't want us to get lost. Everything is through you. Everything is you. So even if you're projecting yourself out as a, uh, you're just a hologram. So even you are just a holographic projection of yourself. So why can't you produce more holograms? You don't believe it. You don't believe that you can replicate yourself as the physical self you see yourself. So you're going to replicate yourself in other forms. Like a tornado. Like a hurricane. Like a car. Like a house. Like the clothes you're wearing. You're going to represent or express yourself in other ways than just your you. What you eat, who you're fucking. <clears throat> you're reading your Akashic. Yeah. You're you you are in the mind of Akasha. You know. You're reading Akasha. That, that, that gets me lost. Like I don't I don't like Like reading someone would be would be the byproduct of an experience. I don't want to read your experience. I want to be in the experience itself. Therefore, I'm in the mind of Akasha. I'm not reading Akasha. Therefore, trying to tap into what was already done. No, I'm in the mind of Akasha. This is what you guys kind of have to start uh, acknowledging. You're being in the consciousness of minds of these deities. Horny pan sex fertility. <laughs> in the negative and regression. Uh, a su Thank you. Now you're getting the cold, Matt. The gold and silver mercury. Silver and gold. I'd rather have Jesus, which would be Jupiter, than silver and gold. So I'd rather have Jupiter than Mercury, the mother. This is cold, people. It's very right here in your face, if you just pay attention to it. Your energy, bro, is amazing. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, You know, I'm just uh, telling you guys, you know, now, once again, uh, Merlin was not a human. He was a Bigfoot. He was a man of the woods, a man of the wild. Um, I know that from different regression sessions that I've had with people that regressed them during the times of old England. And uh, I know King Henry had contracts with him and everything. And uh, he would do different types of forms of work uh, for him. And uh, <clears throat> he was kind of like a medium between Italy and France. Merlin. Um, let's keep it moving though, uh, cause you know, Italy, uh, or Rome in essence, um, the Vatican, that whole concept, you know, they say that Pan had to transition for Christ to be born. So, uh, you know, this is why, um, France used to be like a, a major authority and then it converted over to Italy, you know, Rome or Vatican or whatever, you know, this has to do with the transitionings of power. You know, from one polarity to another. But remember, his name is Fran. 
you know. So this is why they had, uh, they gave him his name, or they named their uh, their country after him. And remember, France is very big on the whole sexual thing. That's their shit. Uh, the L.A. Kings, yeah, 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 La, you know, and La represents sound. Isn't Pan playing flute? <laughs> la, 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 sound. Uh, yes, and also the forest and such. Uh, magic alchemy, son of the sun of the sun. sun. Yeah, there you go. Son of the sun of the sun. Yeah, son of Sam. <clears throat> and Sam is just the S-Am. All the stories are the same. Uh, thing just different ways. So, yeah, definitely. Because it's just stories of you. Uh, the concentration of sound, uh, duality, pan is she, and key. Very much so. Um, interested to learn more of what happened when you was around those those witches. <sighs> There's a lot of interesting stuff when I got around witches. For sure, you can inbox me. Um, astrology, numerology, and all that such. Internal alchemy too. Law of vibration, we are all one. Yes, I represent any given element at a particular time. Because you are an etheric being that is housing all four elements within self. Um, or the square of self, and then you put a tip. But the square is really this. It's weird. It's weird because then you're in the middle and you're kind of like dialing your square. It's your ether or your ur, which is your past and your future. It's kind of pulling you in north, south, east, west, which would be your now. Um, my soul mission number is eight. Keep teaching, bro. I plan, shit, I plan on it. Ain't these, these motherfuckers ain't... The fuck, they gonna stop me. They don't even say shit. They just make a stupid-ass, bland-ass comment and don't come with any backings on any motherfucking thing they say. I have 170 fucking videos full of so much fucking information of nothing written down, of me freestyling my thoughts. Y'all don't want me to really take this shit serious. I'll fuck all y'all up on so many levels because I see things very simple. Why y'all things see things so fucking complicated and then be like, I don't understand why I don't get it. Because y'all fucking make everything so goddamn complicated. That's y'all fault. Y'all make life hard for you. Not me. I sip coffee and talk to you guys. Ain't my fault y'all gotta get indoctrinated, pay this fee, uh, get initiated in this group, fucking uh, do this, do that. Oh, God damn, sorry. Like, my bad, you know? You don't realize all the answers are within you. That's not my fault. It's your fault you don't realize how powerful and how special you are. That's your fault, not mine. I'm showing you how powerful we could be. Hearing it, feeling it, seeing it. It's portal hopping around day. Yeah, girl from Kansas tornado. Um, Dorothy Dot. I need you to live right now. Thank you. Just posted something about the universe and now realize I was referring to me the whole time. Thank you. Fuck. Let me like this. Yes. Completely. Saturn. H bar. Plank. Yeah, like plankton. There you go. You start seeing the connections. I love when y'all put things together because, you know, y'all make me feel special. <clears throat> boundary containment and quantum scope, Neptune or Nibs tune. Yes, how do you contain a tune? You put it in a box. Therefore, then you have frequencies. You put a wave in a box, where do you think it goes? It goes up and down. You don't have nowhere else to go. It actually spirals, which is your up and down. But y'all don't get it. Spiral is it's just the same thing. Um... We are AI, bro. I most definitely. I broke down M C M micro, cosmo, macro. It is the cosmo that is artificial. The planets is a hologram. The fucking everything. It's all. It's all uh, an art. Stop looking at it like oh, robots. No, look at it as design, art. We are in the art right now, and you can't just leave your canvas blank. What are you producing like that? You have to use artificial means to paint the picture. If not, the canvas stays blank. Salvia is no joke. No, salvia is definitely not no fucking joke. I took the strongest form of salvia in possibility of life. And I died. Literally. I completely allowed myself to die. But it was cool. Death was a great experience. <laughs> Length with Bredrith. Peace, Q. Pan Gaia. Or Gaia. Yeah, then you get the word Pangea. Get it? Pangea, this is where they say all the land mass were connected called Pangea. Yeah, it was when Pan and Gaia or Gaia were infused or together. 
Sam, I am. Do you like green eggs and ham? So, um, this is a code also. Um, so what happened was, uh, uh, Pan turned down a sorceress, a white witch. And, uh, she, um, actually wasn't Pan. It was his, his father. So Pan's father turned down this white witch and, uh, she converted him into a woodpecker and, um, produce some of her followers into like uh pigs. So uh a lot of his um so a lot of his followers were converted into pigs. And uh the egg comes from the rooster or the hen which is then connected to fertility. So you guys get it. Rooster, root, root chakra, red, wake your ass up in the morning. Uh, green would then connect to the heart chakra. So it's kind of like infusing the heart and the root when you say green eggs. It's a deep thing. You just got to understand where these things come from. And then you got to understand how your your subconscious process. When you hear the word egg, your brain has to, con your, your subconscious has to put a place of origin to these things. Everything you say, when you acknowledge it, then your brain puts an origin to it. Ham, pigs, eggs, roosters, chickens, green, forests. The nature, you, empath, what you're in, in the path of nature. Like, these are, you know, I am unfuckable, bro. <laughs> OMG, I just said this was my last live. Much love and respect to you for being willing to try to fuck me up, though. <laughs> I'm dying. They better not let you start writing shit and stop freestyling. <laughs> yeah, I might, I don't know. Just leave, leave it be. Right now, they let me freestyle, so this is why I'm going to keep it as consistent with this as possible. I have a feeling if I start going really hard, I don't know, I might have different alphabets start coming, you know, emailing me and shit. Life is an art. <clears throat> Light is an art. Spirals through space in three dimensions. The sin wave. Sin is the name of the moon, people. So the sin wave is a standing wave form. This is why the moon does not rotate. A sin wave is a moon wave. This is why the move does not this is why the moon does not rotate. It's a standing wave. Alright, I'm done. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Till next time.